I'm a little bit behind on this one as usual, but today I'm going to be checking out the digital lens from Amalens for the Pimax Crystal, which basically adds an open XR layer, only works on open XR, and does all sorts of wizardry to apparently improve chromatic aberration and just sharpen up the image at really um, no performance cost. Uh, if we go onto their page, we can just see from a bit of their spiel. Uh, what it does, Amalens Digital Lens is a computational solution allowing to correct optical aberrations and distortions in head-mounted displays by utilising a precise characterization of HMD optical properties along with a patented dynamic aberrations correction algorithm adjusting on the fly to the eye tracking data. Word spaghetti, but basically it does some magic and clears things up and... Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, here's just a demo on a G2 with and without on the left as it is. And as I scroll it over, you can see it does clear it up a little bit. You might think, well, that's not going super sharp. Well, bear in mind, this is zoomed in a ridiculous amount. So that is quite a big improvement. If that happens in real world use, we'll try it out. If we go on to this page, this is actually talking about the download. You can download it for yourself. But it has to be on a headset with eye tracking on one of these, the Crystal Pico 3 Neo Pro Eye. G2, Omnicept, or the Vive Pro I. And the license will expire and the plugin will stop working on the 15th of March. So I've got it downloaded and installed, and it says the best way to test it for yourself is uh, use the delete key to turn it on and off. Okay, so here we are in the fantastic Brink Traveler, and it looks amazing. I'm on maximum setting for resolution in the Pimax Crystal, and it is as gorgeous as ever now let's make one thing clear you will not see the changes that i see it won't change for you at all so <laughs> really let's try and make this video kind of quick and you've just got to listen to my feedback of what i'm seeing okay so now I, as soon as i turned it on i hit delete which turns on and off um the digital lens i made sure it was off i haven't really paid attention to anything but just so i know it's standard at the moment so i'm going to look ahead and look for chromatic aberration. I'm looking with my eyes to the left, so down on the on the rock edge there, in sort of the middle distance, it's in the middle, over there. I can see there's a fair amount of chromatic aberration going on. Generally, in game with the Pimax Crystal, it doesn't bother me. It is right at the edge. You mainly see it more in menus and stuff, but I don't really have a problem with it for my, myself. But anyway, so I'm looking down left there. I can see it. And I'm going to hit delete, and it's come up with enable. Okay, yeah. Right, right off the bat, I'm flicking it on and off here. So, yeah, the chromatic aberration itself completely disappears. However, oh, let me get rid of that. There's, It's adding something else instead. So, when I hit delete, chromatic aberration is gone, but just there's an outline, a sort of transparent green line appearing following the contour following outside whereas the chromatic aberration is actually on the on the edge itself there's a green line almost like a green ghosting just outside so that's like the trade-off i guess but that is much better because that's less noticeable it's transparent and the whole scene just looking down there on my left my eyes to the left as soon as I turn it on, it looks more natural. Sure, you've got that slight green thing, but that's way less than all the, the chromatic aberration. So that's pretty awesome. So that that's working. Okay, let's, let's turn it off again. So all right, I thought I'd check that out. There is an improvement, but there was a slight trade-off, but it, it seems better. What about uh, clarity? Um, I guess I'm just going to look down at the, the forestry there in the middle and turn it on and oh my god turn it off that's a huge difference turn it off I'm looking at this flat plane turn it on wow oh, I forget the chromatic aberration thing this is amazing for this what even close up hang on a minute even this patch down here as close as that is and as good as it looks there I turn it on it's like it's just come into focus that little bit 
extra to, to perfection. You know, like it's it, like I never noticed it was always slightly out of focus. I'm looking at the rocks over there, let's turn it on. Wow. Okay, yeah, back to back. As I say, you can't see it, so um, you've got to download this for yourself and try it out. And, um, oh, my goodness, turn it off and on, just flicking through. Seriously, you've got till that date in March. Download this, try it out for yourself. That is remarkable. It's great that it does something for a chromatic aberration, and maybe they can improve that trade-off with that green line. But I don't care about that. I care about... Oh, my God. Now now when I turn it off, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like, you know... I've, I, I, I'm all glasses wearing. I've taken them off or something. And you're putting your glasses back on, and that's how it should look. That's crazy. Okay, right. Yeah, just... just I didn't expect it to work so well in, in just sharpening a ring up, even close... It brings textures to life that were already good. So I have seen some other people's videos about this and their reactions, but still I was a little bit skeptical going in, but no longer. The clarity it brings at no performance cost is fantastic, really. I mean, the chromatic aberration improvement is good, and perhaps the trade-off can be worked on further down the line, but that aside, just for the clarity, it's like someone's tweaking my vision and bringing everything into focus for the first time. It's awesome, and apparently Amalents want to work direct with the headset manufacturers, and it needs to be implement, implemented into the headset itself. I guess maybe that means then it can work on uh, Open VR and stuff, not just Open XR. That being the case, come on, Pimax, you, you've got to work with them and get this implemented. Um, it truly is awesome, and as I say, you've got till um, mid March, I believe, the fifteenth of March, to try it out for yourselves. It's a quick download and install. It's free, obviously. Give it a go. Make sure it's an open XR application you're trying it on. Flight Sim was obviously uh, an obvious choice. Um, but yeah, that's it really. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. It's pretty phenomenal. It's a bit of magic. But that'll do it. Any comments or questions, drop them below and I'll always try to answer. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Cheers.